I'm riding in the perfect Minecraft elevator. It's multi-floor, can be made of any blocks you want. It's silent, fast, and can even go underwater. Powered by the Create mod, this elevator is compact, cheap, and easy to build. Let's build it. Start by building your elevator car. I built mine four by four out of some calcite blocks, which is a Create mod block, and some glass. But you can make this literally any size you want and out of any blocks you want. Next, decide where you want your buttons. I put mine right here on the inside, one there and one there. Then take your Create Mod Redstone links and put them behind your buttons on the outside of the elevator. You can also put them on the inside below the buttons or next to the buttons if you have room. Do that only if you don't mind seeing the links themselves. Next, take a redstone contact and put it on the outside of your elevator. Usually I like to put these on the bottom row because it hides it in the corner. I also put mine on the same side as these links, but you can literally put this anywhere you want on the as long as it's pointing like that on the exterior of your elevator. This will be the floor of your building or like the ground floor wherever you want the elevator to stop. For that elevator touch, put two framed glass doors here and here. These are create mod. When you click them, they open. Also, they will open automatically when the elevator stops and starts. Once you finish the elevator car, Go ahead and super glue it together by right clicking on one corner, going to the far opposite corner and right clicking with your Create Mod super glue. These will stick to the car even if they're not within the super glued area. Take a redstone contact and point it into that redstone contact so that they're going like this and make sure that it's turning red like that. Take another link and you can put it on any side of the redstone contact that you want to. I put mine on the top like that. Put one of these redstone contacts in the same place in relation to the elevator car on every floor that you want the elevator to stop. So if this is our next floor, I need to put another link right here like that and make sure that it's facing the correct direction. If you have the create mod wrench, you can go ahead and just spin it around if you need to. Put a link on each of these contacts. Go ahead and build a platform for the mechanisms that are gonna power the elevator. Decide where you want the rope to come down and attach to your elevator. I put mine in the corner. If you wanna do yours in the middle, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna put my rope pulley there, break this block like that. Attach a create mod clutch to the rope pulley, then put a shaft and then put a gear shift. The clutch, shaft, gear shift. After that, put a rotational speed controller. These are expensive to make. If you don't wanna do the speed controller, I'll show you an alternative way to power this in a little bit. Take a powered latch and point it so that this little knob thing is pointing into your gear shift. Then take and shift click a link onto that side of it and that side of it. Then what you're gonna do is take redstone dust, place it there, there, and there. And then you could place a repeater right here, but that doesn't seem to be working so well. So what you wanna do is get a pulse extender. This is a create mod thing, and you're gonna put it there and then turn it up to four ticks. All you have to do is look at this and scroll with your mouse wheel, put it on four ticks. Then you're gonna take another powered latch, put it right there, make sure the little knob thingy is pointing towards your clutch. Then take two redstone dust, place it there and there, and a redstone link, place it right there. And that's all the redstone we need to do. Take a large create cogwheel and put it into your speed controller. Put another one right there like that. And then attach that to a water wheel. This is the simplest way to power this. You could get more power out of it and get a faster speed because this will only get you up to 48 RPM, which is pretty fast for, the, for an elevator. If you want it to go faster than that though, you're going to have to use another power method or perhaps use two water wheels. Surround your water wheel with blocks. I like to use glass because I can see what's going on inside the water wheel. Go ahead and put some water down in the corner on the same side as these blades are spinning. Then put water right here and then take a piece of glass and put it right there. And you should have enough power to run your speed controller at 48 RPMs. Another way to get the RPMs that you need, you can put a shaft right there, a small cog wheel there, a large cog wheel there, then another small cog wheel there, and then one more large cog wheel right there, and then attach your water wheel onto that. Alternatively, you could put a shaft and then a chain, adjustable chain gear shift there, and there, and then another one there and there, and then power this with redstone there, and this with redstone there, and then place your water wheel like that. Next, it's a good idea to set up three 
more links just on the ground somewhere. You can get these back because these are going to be temporary. Put a button next to each of these links like that. If you're not familiar with these links, they can be a little bit tricky. But basically, all you want to do is make sure that one of them has a frequency of a block and another block. I'm going to use this one for my up. This one here, I'm going to use for my down. So I'm going to put one in. You can see this right here. It says frequency one. So I'm putting just an orange block there because I like the color orange. And then this is going to be my down. And then stop is going to be my red one like that. Okay, so you need three unique frequencies like this. You can use whatever blocks you want. You don't have to use the concrete like I did. Make sure it is a unique combination of blocks for each of these. It has to be unique on the entire server. So if you're on a create uh, server or a server that has create, you're gonna want to make sure that you know what other people's frequencies are because these can um, link quite a distance, um, but the chunks have to be loaded though. So just keep that in mind. Next, we have to figure out which one of these is up and which one's down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put orange in the frequency one on both of these. And I'm gonna try and put uh, my green, my down on that one and my blue up on that one. The other thing you have to do that is so easy to forget is right click on each of these where you want them to receive. So I want the redstone signal to go from that link to this link. So I have to have this one right clicked so that it has this little sort of satellite dish looking thing on it. So that's without the dish. This would be a sending link. This is a receiving link. So you have to put these in receiving mode. It's so easy to forget to do that. Now I'm gonna test these and see which one is which. So let's see if this one's actually up. No, that one is not up. Let's see if this one's up. Yes, that one is currently set as up. So my elevator is coming up. So what I need to do is switch uh, these two right here so that it, it reflects what I actually want it to do with the colors. So blue is towards the sky, green is towards the grass. There we go, now they're in the right order. So when I press this one, it's going to go up. When I press this one, the elevator goes down. And you'll see that our elevator is actually moving. This is our stop link. So I'm gonna put orange and red on this one because that's what I decided is going to be stop. Next, on all of these that are attached to the contacts, you wanna make them your stop links. So put the code in, or the two blocks that reference stop. So that one is stop. This one's gonna be stop. I want my left button in the elevator to be up. So I'm gonna put this as orange and blue because up is to the sky. And then I'm gonna do this one as down. So for me, that's red and green. There we go. Now when I come in here and I press the left button, it should go up. Oops, forgot to make this a receiver link. <laughs> there we go. I always forget that. If the link isn't working, check that first because that's probably what you forgot to do. If you're playing on a somewhat laggy server, you might glitch through the floor of the elevator when it's going up. What you can do to fix that is take some slabs and put it underneath the elevator, especially where you would be standing. So only those four blocks are really necessary like that. And if you want it to look a little cleaner and cover the whole thing with the slabs, if you do that, make sure to right click on your elevator again with your super glue to make sure that those are included in the super glue. If you want to dress up your elevator a little bit, you can put some blocks in front of it on each floor like this. To add a call to floor feature, I put two buttons here, and then on the back side, I put two links, and then I change these frequencies to match these frequencies here. This is our down frequency, so we're gonna do orange and green, or whatever your down frequency is. Our up frequency is gonna be orange and light blue. And then if I press one of these buttons, you can see now that the elevator moves on. The way you can tell which button to push to call the elevator is if you can see the rope, then it must be below you, so you press the up button. And if you can't see the rope, then of course it's above you and you had pushed the down button to call the elevator. The last thing you might consider doing is putting a couple of these frame glass doors in front of your elevator so that you don't like walk into the elevator shaft on accident. You could then put a couple of you could then put a couple of pressure plates in front of those so you can walk through easily or so that they will close on your way out quickly like that. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you might enjoy my All of Fabric 5 and 6 modded Minecraft Let's Play series. If you need a skyscraper to put this elevator in, you might enjoy my skyscraper series.
This has been Mr. Blockhead. I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful day. And God bless.